What's happening everybody? Kevin Madison here for The Grilling Savant. And today's recipe is for the seafood lovers, shrimp in particular. Now listen, I'm proud of this recipe because I came up with this one all by myself. Tried it several times before you get to see what it is today. Now I want you to follow the exact recipe. Make no variations, deviations, follow it exactly. This is the best shrimp recipe that you're gonna make coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to put together the ingredients, simple ingredients, but make sure you use the exact ingredients that I'm gonna share with you today. It's very important. It's about a tablespoon of each ingredient because I got about 20 shrimp that are gonna be going on the original three-way. So let's start off with the very basic ingredients. Of course, for the binder, you need olive oil. You're gonna need some clover honey. You're gonna need some yellow mustard, Aleppo chili flakes, Oregano, or as many people say, oregano. I learned how to say oregano or I got it from Greece, so I'm not making a mistake. Some minced garlic, some freshly cracked black peppercorns. The peppery flavor that comes from freshly cracked pepper is unbelievable and it's gonna come through once you see how all this, just, just watch. Some, uh, now I gotta show you this. This is two different seasonings. This is Old Bay, you got about a teaspoon of Old Bay, and you got about a tablespoon of flake salt. Reason why is because Old Bay is a little salty, but it has a distinct flavor that is gonna pick up, you're gonna pick it up at the end of the bite when, when let me stop talking, you'll see for yourself. Old Bay, about a teaspoon of that to the tablespoon of salt. We're gonna be using just a half a lemon, and of course, the star of the show will be the jumbo shrimp. Make sure they are cleaned and deveined. You do not want that mud vein in your shrimp. And the tool of choice, for me at least, is gonna be the original three-way skewer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to build the marinade. You wanna take your olive oil. Now, I didn't measure the olive oil because you wanna eyeball this. You wanna make sure that every piece of shrimp is coated. You don't wanna drain or drown your shrimp, but you wanna make sure you get enough on there to coat every single piece. Because again, it is the binder that's gonna make all these spices adhere. And the mustard's a binder too, but olive oil really, 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 really makes it so that everything sticks to the shrimp. So we wanna go ahead and get your olive oil in. I'm gonna use enough, to, again, to cover every single piece, not drowning it, but just enough. Then I'm gonna take my honey. I'm gonna distribute it everywhere. Again, I'm not gonna go crazy, but enough to where it's gonna coat every single piece. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add the yellow mustard. Get that in there. You wanna get your Aleppo chili flakes. You wanna get your oregano. You wanna get your minced garlic in there. You wanna get your cracked black pepper. And then you wanna take your Old Bay and your salt mixture. And then you're gonna take half a lemon and you're gonna squeeze. And that is it, folks. What you're gonna do is then mix and all that's gonna to come together and you're gonna to see it so beautifully, so nicely. It's so colorful, it's so gorgeous. And wait until you taste this, folks. It is probably the best shrimp recipe that I've ever personally made. Folks, look at that, look at that. This is what you want. You want that shrimp looking like there's not a single piece that doesn't have any kind of seasoning on it. It's covered from tail to head and it's gonna be delicious. So once we get that mix, you don't need to let shrimp marinate. Marinating shrimp, will only cause it to pretty much cook before you even get it to the grill because the acidity and the lemon juice is actually going to work already. So make sure that you are ready to grill when you do this recipe. I mean, you can leave it probably 15 minutes, 30 minutes tops, but you don't want to marinate shrimp you know, overnight or anything crazy like that because it's ready relatively quick, quickly once the acidity breaks it down and we got that lemon juice in there. It's gonna all come together beautifully. So let's get it loaded up onto the original three-way and let's get ready to head to the grill. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to load the original three way skewer. Now we're gonna load as many shrimp as we possibly can. I've made this recipe several times. I usually can get about 18 shrimp 
on the three-way. Now, each tine is nine inches long. It allows for pretty much three people to eat on a single three-way, but this amount of shrimp usually can go on a single three-way. It's about 18, 19 shrimp on here. Now, when you load the three-way, keep in mind that you're able to double poke, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And the reason why you want to double poke is because you wanna take advantage of the cook space, the nine inches of cook space to fit as many shrimp here and to secure them so they get an even char on the top and the bottom when you flip. And you're gonna see in just a second. So when loading the shrimp, you wanna take the fat side first and you wanna just simply insert it. And before you push it all the way down, take the tail and poke it through the tail in as well, and what you'll have is a shrimp that is double poked and secured. And I'm gonna do another one so you can start to see the pattern. Fat side down, before you uh, push it all the way down, take the tail and push it through. Be meticulous with it, you don't wanna rush, you want your food to be beautiful. You know, cooking is an art, folks, so when you rush, you kinda like disrespecting the art, and grilling to me is, an, <laughs> it's the highest art of cooking for me. So it's fat in first and then through the tail second. You wanna do that to the second tine as well. With the shrimp all in the same direction, you're gonna be able to create at home, especially if you get yourself an original three-way skewer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish loading these up and you're gonna see what the finished product is in just a second. folks what you have here is a fully loaded original three-way skewer with that honey mustard aleppo chili flake shrimp that's about to be the absolute bomb now look at that when i say nothing flips nothing flops nothing spins nothing turns everything stays once it's on the three-way was i joking was i joking find the lie there is no lie to be told because this is the baddest skewer on the planet and when all I even char marks both sides cooking on the inside because of the tines has that heat transfer from tail to tip. I'm telling you folks, this is it right here. If you love shrimp, this is it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the honey mustard Aleppo chili flake shrimp. Now, look at this beauty. Look at this. When it kisses, kisses the fire, you're gonna see the most beautiful sight you've ever seen on a grill. When it comes to shrimp, you will not find any better shrimp than this right here. And if you got your three-way, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Sizzle, baby. finished cooking my burn session is done it's time to remove the food from the original three-way and get down I'm about to enjoy this starting with this bomb shrimp check it out 